Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button, tell a friend, tell a friend. I mean, I guess a hot pocket is not that bad. I mean, sometimes, you know what? You just want to eat a nice hot pocket. Why not? Why not? But unfortunately, not all the time. Not all the time you want to go ahead and eat one of those hot pockets. But unfortunately, you little duck right now. He's in a situation right now where his life is basically... 100% different in eating a hot pocket is luxury. But Russ but about it, he's just going to eat that hot pocket and eat the hot pocket and say to himself, you know what? Why am I here? Why did I decide to go out of my way instead of, you know, developing construction companies? I decided I want to develop gangs and gang members, you know, only the family. That's what he's representing. You know what Larry Hoover is representing. They said Lil Durk and Larry Hoover is in almost the same situation. They were famous um, and they were successful in Chicago, well-known. They, you know, started using their brand to commit crimes and as time went by, as time went by, they tried to change. They tried to change. But unfortunately, unfortunately, when they tried to change, it was actually kind of too late. It was actually kind of too late. You know, if these individuals didn't commit certain crimes, you know, they wouldn't have to worry about, you know, paying, paying for the acts of the crime that they committed, for example, for example, you know what, what they say Larry Hoover did? He went behind the bars at 23 years old. And the same thing they say Larry Hoover did is almost the same thing they say Lil Durk did, like I said before. So I said Lil Durk is a modern day Larry Hoover. I mean, versus the streets. They said the streets is like quicksand. It's just going to bring you down. Actually, it's going to sink you down. No, actually, it's going to bury you. Because if it doesn't do that, it's not the streets. You know, they say there's rules on the streets. Um, And, you know, imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine criminals making rules. But don't forget, all criminals do is break rules. If they can't abide by the natural law of the land imagine them to abide by um the um, the rules of a you know a regular you know individuals who they come across and they say you know what gang time gang time like i was saying lord dirt is a new day chicago larry hoover modern day modern day successful well-known, well-respected, formed organization of individuals come together to commit crimes. That's what Larry Hoover did. That's what the same Lord Dirt did. If he didn't do it, he has nothing to worry about. He could just come out and just start dancing. La, 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 la. But if he did do it, he has to go to jail. It's one of those things right there. I mean, could Lord Dark handle being in the bars, behind the bars for 50 years like how Larry Hoover did it? You know, Larry Hoover said, you know what, I've been in the bars since I was 23 years old. I'm almost 83 years old right now. Do the math, that's almost 60 years. Could Lord Dark handle almost 60 years behind the bars? I mean, he has no choice but to if he's found guilty of what he's been accused of. Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine being found guilty of committing crimes. Well, happens all the time. But a lot of individuals, believe it or not, I heard a little dirt put out a tweet. Well, let's not get into that right there. Believe it or not, you have some individuals out there in the world, you know what they say, you know what they say? 
They say, you know what? I'm going to commit a crime and you're not my friend because you're not going to take the blame for me. Imagine that. What? Do what? Yeah, a whole lot of individuals say, you know what? I'm the man. I'm the breadwinner. I'm making all the money. I'm going to commit a crime and I want you to just take the, you know, take the charges for me. Some individuals, believe it or not, they say, you know what? He's right. He's right. He's right. He's a man. He's a man. He's a man. You call those individuals, um, what do you call these individuals right there? I know what you call them. Um, mindless, fatherless individuals. I mean, you could probably call them other things, but that's what I'm calling them. They say a little dirt. It's saying right now, you know what? I want to be able to commit crimes. I'm just talking allegedly, allegedly. Everything I'm saying is made up. Don't forget that. Don't forget, all I do is talk. They say, you know what? He's saying, you know what? I want to be able to commit crimes. I want one of my friends to take the charges for me. What a friend is that? A friend that doesn't want to do his own time. Imagine that. So you trying to tell me that? You want to do crime, but you don't want to do your time? You want me to do your time for you? Unbelievable. Life for Goofy. Little Dark's a Goofy. Why didn't he do his crimes by himself? I'm not promoting crimes. He did a crime by himself, didn't tell anybody about it, didn't rap about it. He do not have to worry about what he's going through right now. But he thought he was a man. He thought he was so cool. I think so did Larry Hoover. But you know one thing's cool about that? One thing that's even cool about um, whatever they was thinking in their minds is trying to get out from behind those bars. They say, wow. This is what gangsters have to go through? Wow, it's crazy being a gangster. They forgot about what happened to um, 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 John Gotti. They forgot what happened with the gangsters. They started telling each other. Started doing bad things to each other. Started to destroy each other. Wow, what a life to live. Don't forget, I'm just talking, I'm just talking. A little dirt. One for making millions of dollars annually, annually, legally, to be behind those bars with those down out individuals who don't know their fathers. Some of them don't even get along with their mothers. And some of their mothers don't even get along with them. So a little dirt's around these individuals right now. You know, it's not just him. I said, um, Lil Dirk, Tookie Williams, Larry Hoover, all these smart individuals who want to form a gang, they all end up at the same in the same place. But here's the thing right here, they were all promoting violence. None of them got behind the bars without committing some type of violence. I guess if they did it peacefully, probably would have been different but unfortunately that's what they all had, had in common they're all behind the bars because of violence till next time this is crying on paper i see him do it i see him do it unbelievable